Hey guys, welcome to the 123rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a string into this uh, panel right here. And by draw a string, I mean basically just draw text into our panel. And by drawing it, that means we cannot like select it or copy it or highlight it or anything like that. So uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a panel. And when the user clicks on that panel, you're going to want to have it create a new solid brush. It doesn't matter what color the brush is, I just made mine blue. And you're also going to have to create graphics so that we have something to draw on. And do panel1.create graphics so that we can draw on our panel. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to use the draw string method instead of the graphics class. So we're just going to do g dot whatever you name or whatever you name your graphics. And we're just going to use the draw string method to draw our string. So the first argument that it wants us to pass through here is a string to draw. So I'm just going to have it draw Adam. So we'll just type in Adam right there. The next thing that it calls for though is a font. So what we're going to have to do is create a new font. And we're going to have to do system.drawing.font even though we already um, are using uh, system.drawing up here because if we did just dot .font it would access this dot font and it would access the font of this text right here of the text of our form and we don't want that we want to actually create a new instance of the font class so we're going to have to do system.drawing.font I'm just going to call it font for font and set it equal to a new font and the first thing that um, our font calls for right here is a font family and a font family is basically just the type of font that we're going to be using so, we're going to have to go up here and create a new font family. I'll call it FF for font family and set it equal to a new font family. And basically what we'll have to pass through here is the name of the font that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to type in Arial and make sure that you type in the name of the font correctly because if you don't it will throw an error. So I'm just going to have it use Arial for right now. So now that we have our font family created, we can just pass through our font family to create our font. And we're also going to have to choose to be how big our font is going to be. So I'll just make it 10 points big. And there, now we have our font created. And now we can pass our font through right here through this draw string method. And next it calls for a brush to actually draw the font. And I'm just going to use our solid brush that we created up here, so S. And finally is the point that it wants to start drawing the font. And I'll just make it be 2020 so it'll start drawing approximately right there. So, create a new point. So, 2020. Alright. So, now when we debug here and click, it should just draw Adam right out into this uh, panel. Yep, Adam. Perfect. And if we wanted to change the size of the font, we could easily change it just by changing this number in our uh, font class right here. So I'll just make it be 50. Should make it much larger. Yep, Adam, there you go. And we can change the font style. So if we want to make it another font like Courier New, or Courier New, I guess that's how you pronounce it. All right, so now when you debug and click, we should see Adam in Courier New font. Yep. And if you wanted to make it be like um, bolded or italic or underline or something like that, you can just pass that as a third uh, argument through your font class. So we can just do font style dot, and here we have an enumeration of all the different types of font styles. So if we wanted to make it bold, we just do font style dot bold, and our uh, text should be bolded. Yep. Now obviously, if we did something else like um, italic, it would be italic. Yep. Now let's do one more here. So if we made it strike out, it would be strike stricken out. Yep. And if you just wanted it to be plain old regular, you just do dot regular. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on drawing um, text. So see you guys.